So there's a pretty interesting split that's going on right now in the Republican Party. Obviously, Donald Trump is no longer president of the United States, but obviously his actions and, you know, I was thinking about it recently, but he really screwed himself over by going so over the top because he could have still been yapping like nonstop on Twitter, but he sacrificed that for whatever dumb shit he did uh, towards the end of his presidency. Um, but, you know, once he's gone, the, we all knew the Republican Party was going to have an identity crisis. You know, is it going to go in this newfound Trumpian direction? Or is it going to regress back into the GOP system that they had prior? Um, you know, the George W. Bushes, Reagans, all that stuff. Because he had transformed the party almost entirely. Um, and so now there's a split going on between uh, Kevin McCarthy, who is, uh, you know, the... He's the minority leader uh, in the House for the Republicans. And uh, Liz Cheney, who is the daughter of Dick Cheney, who appears to be, uh, it looks like, running for president in 2024, which is pretty scary because obviously she's the daughter of Dick Cheney. Um, says, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy wouldn't say Tuesday whether Representative Liz Cheney was a good fit for the GOP's leadership team, fueling a divide within the party that has been the big story at his conference's retreat this week in Florida. Quote, that's a question for the conference, McCarthy told reporters gathered in Orlando for the final day of the House GOP's policy retreat, dodging whether Cheney, the GOP conference chairwoman, and number three Republican leader should be part of his leadership team. When a reporter pressed him further and asked what he personally believes, McCarthy replied without mentioning Cheney's name, quote, I think from a perspective, if you're sitting here at a retreat that's focused on policy, focused on the future of making America's next century, and you're talking about something else, you're not being productive. So that's obviously a dodge, because if you're talking about you're at the GOP leadership's, you know, a retreat where they're talking about policy, I mean, whether or not you're going in the Liz Cheney or Trump direction, it's huge, huge uh, issue in terms of, well, where are you going? Um... This is the McCarthy-Cheney spat is symbolic of the GOP's internal divisions over former President Trump, which has loomed over the party all year. This a day earlier, Cheney generated a flurry of headlines after breaking with McCarthy and the majority of the rank-and-file Republicans she represents on several issues. At the retreat's opening news conference, Cheney told reporters that she saw McCarthy and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, not Trump, as the leaders of the GOP. Um, and she sided with Nancy Pelosi by declaring that a proposed independent 9-11 style commission should be narrowly focused on ge investigating the January 6th insurrection carried out by a pro-Trump mob. McCarthy, who's been feuding with Pelosi, wants the scope of the investigation to be much broader, including looking at some Black Lives Matter and Antifa protests that have turned violent at times. What bizarre whataboutism that is. Um, and then obviously, uh, Cheney voted for the impeachment of Donald Trump. So what's going on is, uh, you know, Kevin McCarthy here is a, a Trump stooge. Most Republicans are really hostage, even still, to Donald Trump, because a lot of these districts have a lot of Trump voters in them. And so they have to be really careful about what they say. And a lot of times they just have to come out and say they support Trump for that reason. Um, and so Liz Cheney is kind of the representative of the previous GOP and so she, I firmly believe she's going to run in 2024 because she already said that she's not ruling it out. And clearly this would be her best chance because she's kind of taking a stand as the anti-Trump Republican. Um, I pray to God she doesn't succeed because uh, obviously her father was a horrible, horrible person. Uh, you know, went into the Iraq invasion, you know, to invasion is like 200,000 at least. Like that's a, a conservative estimate. Uh, innocent Iraqis dead, obviously like 5,000 U.S. soldiers dead, tons of money wasted. It was absolutely horrible, you know, helped facilitate the rise of ISIS. It was complete disaster. It was completely illegal, by the way. Uh, the U.N. Security Council did not vote on a resolution that would allow invasion, um, and singular members don't get to decide when uh, international law is broken. Uh, the U.N. Security Council has to, so it was just blatantly illegal. Um, and the U.N. inspectors, you know, general did not find any chemical weapons prior and post to when they invaded so it was a complete sham that can't really be explained without oil that's really the only way there's no other possibility um but it's going to be interesting to see where exactly this goes because this is the future of the republican party who the fuck is going to run in 2024 it's going to be really fascinating to see um
Trump is still going to try to flex his political power, but he's really, really been hurt by uh, being banned from basically every platform known to man. So I don't know where this is going to go, but let me know what you think.